I guess we have a final boss to take down. <sighs> we'll see if I actually can, because I don't know uh, how this is going to go. I think the final boss is like the hardest from what I gathered. So the final boss takes like a lot of the mechanics from the earlier bosses. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. I'm stuck on the final boss fight, literally. We'll see how this goes. Thanks, Vinius. Thank you, thank you. It's why you're up to a six-day work week for the next couple weeks, trying to rack up as much overtime while you're able to get it. Yeah, that's fair. Well, take care, Hotshot, and uh, hopefully things will get better soon. Finale day! Hey, standby. It is! Hopefully it doesn't take me that long. Oh, I still gotta play Ghost of Tsushima. I'm not stuck. I only tried a couple times. The stream ended. I mean, that's fair. That is fair. Oh, whoops. Didn't turn on my audio for the PlayStation. All right. We'll see. <clears throat> I don't think I, I, I don't know if I made any progress in learning the bosses, um, animations and movements. All right, we're just going to dive in. I think it's been like a week, maybe. <laughs> oh, this is going to suck. All right. I'm going to probably bash my head in before the stream's over. <laughs> Wish me luck, everybody. <sighs> how do you how do I play this game again? All right, R1's to attack. R2's the heavy. R2 square. I th is it R2 square? It's R2 and square to do the rot. The rot hammer, right? Throw the bomb. Okay. Alright. I'm sure I got this. Right? Thanks, Shadow Link. At least you get Skyrim Anniversary Edition in the pre remastered GTA Trilogy through Game Pass. Hell yeah! No, Game Pass is awesome! My coworkers were actually talking about Game Pass being a dollar on PC. Um, and I was like, Game Pass is awesome. Thanks, Junior. Thanks, Chamomile. Where are the rots? They got stolen! They got stolen! That was a plot point you missed. The boss stole my rot. Oh yeah, this is a big fight. Oh, there's the big enemy. And then I get transported. <sighs> and then I have to try to survive. Oh my god. Can I do this? Skyrim's coming to Game Pass? Uh, yeah. A lot of things are coming to Game Pass. Oh my god, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I gotta try to take no damage on this part. Oh! Right as I said that. That's cool. Thanks a bunch. This is going very well. Oh god. Constantly. Oh god. Ow! I don't want to be here. Everything hurts. Oh my god. Can we just not right now? I just. Wait, is that not it? Okay. So 
now we get transported. And I have to try to survive. This, this shit gave me more issue than that boss fight. Which is ridiculous. Actually shoot it. It does more damage if I do. Can't shoot it. This is messing me up. Oh my god! I can't shoot it. <laughs> this is nonsense. Does more damage if I shoot it. This is the round that always gets me. This next round. Hmm. Okay. This next round always gets me. this is fine. I'm just gonna back up a little. Does the bomb not do that much damage to him? I want to shoot the crystals, goddammit. Oh god. I'm gonna fail this again. I can just tell. I have no healing. Cause I have no rot! Oh god, he turned too fast. <laughs> Why do I suck? Are you kidding me? I just can't. I can't aim. I can't shoot. die again. I'm about to die, everybody. I'm about to die! Oh god, whatever. Whatever! This is fine! Ow. Okay, one more hit and I'm dead. <laughs> this guy always gives me trouble. It's not even the... It's not even the big boss. Not even. It's not even the big boss, it's just this guy. If I can just get good at parrying, maybe we'll be okay. I knew I did that too early. Samuel, thanks for dropping in. Have a good night. Sweet dreams. Now let's do that all over from the beginning. It's always that guy that gives me the most trouble. 
Okay, this time I need to not take any damage during this first phase. God, so close. Okay, this is fine. No! I saw that and I didn't run. What is wrong with me? Like, I knew that's what he was gonna do, and I was like, oh hey! Oh hey, how you doing? Do you come by here often? This, this, this enemy, this boss only has like three moves. And I fall for that grab every time. Oh my god. How many times am I gonna shoot the ones on the side? Ugh, again? Every time! It's the, it's the grabbing move every time. And I just stand there. Why am I like this? Why can't I be better? Hey, you come here often? Want to go for a bite? Oh, okay. Let's try this again. How many times do I have to do this? How many... Honestly though, the, the one enemy I am stuck on often is giving me like a ton of parrying experience, which is pretty cool. Fine, I'm fine. We're fine. I'm doing great. We got like two thirds HP. Hmm. <clears throat> right? <laughs> I could do this. I got this. Ow. Oh god. I thought I had it. <laughs> I thought I had this. right now oh we need some distance between us I don't like how close you're getting what happens if I get to the next phase with like one HP just gonna just gonna point that out Thing. 
This is fine. I have to like stand still for it to attack and I really don't want to. Ooh! Oh God, it was like right there. Kidding me. I have one HP. I literally have one HP. I have one HP! How am I gonna be able to do shit? Oh, do we get some rot back? Alright. Oh god. I got some rot back. Okay. Please give me some HP though. Okay, I have some rot. But that's it. I have one HP. <laughs> I literally have one HP. How, how am I gonna survive this next part? Okay, I do have one rot action. So if I... Looks like we're going back to the, the big corrupt god. Rot God, so we're gonna have to like run to where the healing is, wherever that is. <sighs> okay, no pressure. Hey, hey, Osage, how are you? Yeah, there's healing there, so I'm, I'm just gonna like. Ah, okay, I can do this, right? <laughs> oh. The one HP wonder! Oh god. Alright. YOLO. Where's the healing? Give it to me! Alright. Here we go. No! I was literally trying to get away! What is that bullshit? Oh god, there's a laser beam. And I just died. Okay, he has a new move now. He has lasers. Ugh. Man, that is some shit. I didn't even last, even though I healed. <sighs> Am I gonna be able to beat this game today? Freaking laser beam! <laughs> Cute Souls game. Cute souls game. Hey, Brazoki. Happy 55 months. How are you doing? Thank you. I hope you're doing well. And happy, uh, happy Tuesday. Welcome. Yeah, they even have their hats. We got some of them back, so that was cool. But, um, so it, what it seems like, based on my interpretation of the boss fights that I've encountered so far, is you weaken the corrupt rot god a certain amount and then that forces you into this like alternate dimension to take out some enemies and release a few of the captive rot and that counts for like the HP the HP damage you've done I think and I'm assuming there's like two or three phases of that so until we get all the rot back Not lasers again. Yeah, there's no, there is no checkpoint, Morte. It is kind of irritating. Like, it would be nice if they put a checkpoint after you unlock that first stage of rot. Yeah, exactly. I would think so too, Morte. I, I, I agree. I feel like there should be a checkpoint because it is frustrating to go through that all over again. <laughs> hey, Valzitus, how are you today? Happy Tuesday! Freaking laser beam! Yeah, it's not even on a shark. How disappointing. <sighs> uh, we're on the final boss fight. It's very hard. I guess I'm kind of stuck on it. But I've only tried it like a handful of times. It's been like five times. So. You're sure there's a checkpoint next stage? Oh, really? There is gonna be a checkpoint? Ugh. That would be nice. Going back to work? Have fun? Hope this isn't Dark Souls 4. Thank you, Brazoki! Good luck at work! Thanks for dropping in! Are you 
you kidding? Why you gotta move so much? I'm like leaning. Woo. Not today, buddy. Oh my god. I feel like I'm in a Mario Kart game. I'm just leaning. Are you kidding me? I just wanna just wanna hit it. Can you imagine this game underwater? Are we in Canada? <laughs> Sorry, Canadians. Sorry. I'm just, uh... Just saying. So why are we imagining this game underwater? I can't shoot the bubble. That's all for you. Nice. Nice. Alright. So person who is frequently on the front page of Twitch Canada. Yeah, Canada is underwater. I thought we established that. Because of sharks with laser beams. Oh, yeah. <laughs> underwater would be interesting. Uh, Hotshot, it makes you miss your mod for Fallout 4 you used to have every time you leveled up. You got to hear Austin Powers going, <laughs> Yeah, baby, yeah. That's funny. The other sharks with laser beams were only found in tornadoes. I think so. Ah, oh, fuck. I feel like I had that. Ow! Oh, this is not working out. Kinda worked. A block is better than not. That's fine. <laughs> I was like, hold on, I'm aiming this wrong.
keep wanting to hit that crystal and I can't. Didn't think I would actually land that. Fuck. You can't seem to get that one, which sucks. Lose all my HP again. Okay. Let's try this again. I had like full HP. And I just can't seem to get that. I wish, I wish unlocking some of the rot would um, restore some HP. <laughs> that would have been nice. <laughs> okay, so when we get in there, we have to watch out for the grab and the laser beam. Yeah, it would make sense, right? To get some healing with the rot, but no, we don't get any healing, so, um... I guess that's fine. No! Are you kidding? Just like before! And now he's gonna do the laser beam. How do I get out of here? Oh, I can't. He throws me into the thing that drains my HP to none. Literally, the grab is an instant KO. The grab is literally an instant KO because he throws you into the stuff that drains your HP. What is that bullshit? What do I need to do? Maybe I, I should run. Instead of running away from him during that, I should run towards him and get under. Because I think that's the problem. I'm gonna try that. You gotta get out quickly, roughly within five seconds. How do you even get out of there, though? <laughs> uh, how many times do I enjoy doing this from the very beginning? A ton of times, clearly. No better, and yet that always fucking gets me. I know better, and yet it always gets me. Ow! Okay, that's rude. hard to reach any of that. Oh, I do have a dash move. I forget you can use that for navigation. Maybe I should do that. Hmm. All right. Well, I'll try to keep that in.
is fine. You are about five or six attempts to get to the second stage of the realms. It gets a bit old and feels rather unforgiving. You can dash the uber guy in the stage. What uber guy? You mean the, the main boss? We just need to become a parry god, I've decided. Parry god, that's what I have to be. becoming a paragon. Ow! <sighs> it's rather entertaining to see how the mobs react when they get that glob you throw on their head. Yeah, it is pretty cute actually. If someone asks if you're a god, you say yes. <laughs> Maybe. I I think I just it's this is a honestly this is a trial of getting good at parrying. I think that's what this is. This is the part where I have to get really good cuz every parry matters here and I think if I were to nail almost all of them it would make it would make all the world of difference, you know. It's just difficult. All right, let's go. Faster! Oh my god. No, I should have just run or dashed or did something smarter. Ugh. I don't know why I never dash. It just doesn't occur to me. Here I am taking more unnecessary damage. Good job. Good job. I'm doing great.
Slashing is fine. Three moves. Some, he has one that's two moves and one that's three, and I thought that was the two. God damn it. Well, I'm down to one HP. We're not gonna win this one. Unfortunately. Yeah. Welcome back, Twining. Enjoy your food. Thanks for the lucky cakes. They didn't work. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we should just take our midstream break. And hopefully when I come back, I'll be better. Isn't that how it works? I don't know if we're going to be able to finish this game today, everybody. This is not going well. If you cut something's fucking head off, does it count as castration? I don't know about that. Hi, Arizona. Your lucky cakes never work. You need to stop sending them. They're unlucky. No, I think lucky cakes just didn't work this time. Sad face. You believe I will, Junior? It is a trial. My gosh. I believe. Anyway. Let's go ahead and just take our midstream break. Um... This is usually a 5 to 10 minute break halfway through stream and it's a chance for all of us to use the restroom, get some water, grab a snack, do something, move around, and then um, we'll continue in a little bit when we get back. So, <laughs> trials can last a long time. Just ask my wins if. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, thanks, thank you all for hanging out and supporting and cheering me on and stuff. And uh, I'll see you all in a few minutes. BRB.
Is that better? Yeah, no? What about now? Okay. I have to turn my mic on and off and on, off and on. Until it works. I don't know if it's my mixer. Maybe I should try to plug it in a different mic channel. I'm not sure. Anyway, we're back. And... <clears throat> I hope you all took a break. We're gonna continue banging our head against the wall now. Which I know you're all excited for. <laughs> Hi Arturo. I don't know if you're still here, but welcome. Thanks for the welcome backs. Hotshot, Junior, and Vinius. <laughs> but yeah. My hair is just not cooperating. <clears throat> Thank you, Valzers. Thank you all. I'm gonna try this again. <clears throat> More Tate, thank you. All right, we're gonna go bang our head against the wall now. So, wish me luck. Cause this sucks. <sighs> this is fine. <laughs> Theoretically, the more I do this, the better I get. Theoretically. Thank you, Twining. Here we go. Oh, we broke it in two shots? Maybe if I charge up the shot. Huh. 43 months, I can't believe it. I love your face, Snowy, and I am so happy on the progress you are making towards a full-time job, Snowy, or Snowy Battle. I'm proud of all your hard work, Snowy Hulk. Thank you, Leo! Still not out of it yet. What the fuck? <laughs> Finally. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Leo. Happy 43 months. Thank you so much. And I tear three. I really appreciate it. Oh, it's been, it's been difficult to get here, but it feels like my work is finally paying off. And I really appreciate that continued support around everything revolving around that. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. We got this, right? <clears throat> oh. I believe. Oh. Deep breaths.
So close. So close. You've got to be kidding me. I keep, I keep, I keep going too fast on that. Maybe I should just stand here. I don't know why I complicate it by moving. Okay, maybe that one I should probably dodge. <laughs> okay, I have a new plan now. Stand there. Stand there. It makes it so much easier. I don't know why I'm trying to be flashy by running around and shit. I should just stand there. Stand! <clears throat> Dash. Oh god. Okay. I'm fine. Laser beam time. God, this is so awkward. I need to find another place to like shoot it. Shoot it. God. Okay, okay, okay. I gotta figure out where the... Where is his thing? Phase two. We gotta get more rot back. Um, it's a platforming puzzle. His thingy, yeah, his thingy. <laughs> this is very. Oh shit! Wrong button. go from here. Oh. Oh god. A little stressful. <clears throat> Jesus. Oh! <laughs> I 
can't. Is this the rest of it? Oh my god, all my rot. All my rot are back. Hold on, Knight's in here. And he's being a butt. Hey! 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 What are you doing? Stop it. Stop it. What did you do? Get out of- No? Go on! You little butt? Why are you like this? Huh? God damn it. No, go on, go on, go, go. No, no. Stop it. Stop, stop. Come here, Knight. Where are you at? Come here. Night BB. Where did you go? Hey, what are you doing? Go on. Go on. Go. Go. <sighs> okay. Cat, yeah, it's night. <clears throat> he came in here. I heard him initially. He was batting at the snowlet sign that I have framed behind me. He usually bats at it. I don't know. He does that to anything shiny that's hanging on the wall. <laughs> Whether it's a TV screen or a picture frame, he'll like do this weird little kind of batting motion on it. I don't know what it is. <clears throat> anyway, he came in and did that and that was fine. But then he started pulling letters off my letter board. He knocked off four letters. So I had to kick him out. Twining, thanks for the, uh, thanks for the clip. <clears throat> I appreciate it. You think my break will just be three weeks of scolding night? Probably. He's honestly such a little butt. He's such a little butt. He's cute, but he's still a butt. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Alright. I don't have any more healing. Oh, I do have one healing. Nice. I feel like he's pretty angry now, so... Oh, God! What? That was cool. Oh, God, they're enemies. Oh, shit. What the heck? What is this nonsense? Oh god. He crushed everybody. At least I don't have to worry about the smaller enemies because he just kind of kills them all. I just gotta figure out how to get him. I don't think there's any more things for me to shoot. Did we do it? Is that it? Double. Double. Okay. Oh, I was going to say double tap. Oh, <clears throat> we did it. Everybody grab your popcorn. It's time to watch a movie. Grab your popcorn. <laughs> we did it. I'm pausing alerts, by the way. Hey, Tad, you're just in time. I know. Thank you, Junior. Thank you all for the patience. Hey, Omni. <clears throat> oh, I have to move? I was ready to watch a movie. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'll have you know I resisted the urge to send my unlucky cakes. <laughs> Look how well you did. Twining. Thank you.
thank you. <laughs> First try. Oh, I love it. <clears throat> you knew I'd ace it. Thanks, Junior. Oh, look at our rot babies. They're back, though. I That was a really difficult fight without them. You don't realize how much you rely on your little rot babies until you don't have them anymore. Um, so now we're here. Oh gosh. Maybe we finally got through to Toshi. Happens to be the first attempt after you showed up, Leo. Maybe that's what it is. You're the lucky charm. Leo, you're never allowed to leave. By the way. You just finished two Burger King Whopper meals during that fight. Damn. GG. Feels great when you kick its butt. It does. I'm glad. Honestly, the hardest part was that one enemy. Like, before you get any of the rot, it's that one guy with the big stick. He's honestly the hardest part. The actual corrupt rot god was actually not even a challenge. You just nailed the race you were trying to beat too, hot shot. GG! Dio Leo. Okay, good. <laughs> All the luck. Oh, that was tough. Alright, here's Toshi, I think. Hopefully we got through to him. Sisters trusted in the paw of the mountain shrine. Its waters nurtured our village, gave us life, strengthened our connection to the spirit realm. I could not understand why it would betray us. Home was crumbling, and the people looked to me for answers. I failed them, and could only watch as life drained from the village. This music. We should do nothing? You should take action. The creature is connected to the balance of the land. Its presence, the famine. They are part of a natural cycle. The land needs time to heal. We must cross the mountains. It's time to look for a new home. Your faith in the old ways has blinded you. Lead our people, and they will follow you. Hey, Loxebi. <clears throat> A well earned ending. Thanks, Junior. Jojiro, you have the power to stop this. We should drive it out. Down the staff, Toshi. I will end this suffering. Oh, why would you attack him? What the heck? He's an old man. So, this is where Toshi went down the wrong path. The wrong solution. Why are you punishing us? Who's this? What did we do? Oh my god, I want one. That's a cat. People must die. Why? Tell me. Don't turn your back on me. Listen to me. Why would you attack such a majestic creature? 
Why, Toshi? This is why we can't have nice things. This is why we can't have nice things. We devoted ourselves to you. We don't need you. Why would he do that? This is it. <gasps> I think this cat creature is kind of what the rots are made of. That's what we were ripping out of the boss. Once told me, <sighs> change was an essential part of life. He understood the rot god's purpose. That makes Fear sense. Drove my actions, and I destroyed something beautiful. If I had just listened to Zajiro, how many could have been saved? I'm sorry, Itoshi. We're not meant to suffer such pain. Grief is natural, but it can imprison us, change who we are. Your torment has lasted long enough. Nothing will change what happened here. You must forgive yourself so the land can heal. I got goosebumps. Come, Toshi. Our time here is over. Goodbye, Kane. There is only one spirit left for you to help. One spirit left? I wonder. I got so many goosebumps. Like watching? Oh, did you all did you all get goosebumps? Because I got goosebumps. Honestly, all the cutscenes in this game. The music, the animation, the storytelling, it really it constantly gives me goosebumps. The last time I repeatedly got goosebumps from a game was Final Fantasy VII Remake. So like, this is like, top notch. Ugh! Anyway. <laughs> Oracle, you used a coupon to get a four Whopper meals for 25 bucks and you split it with your brother. Well, damn. You're gonna go in a food coma. That would make for a nice tattoo. Yeah, that cat rot god. So that was the rot god. So, Hasha made a good point. The It was the Toshi's weapons at weapon attacks that we were pulling out at the end there for the final phase. And it, it makes sense. That creature we were fighting was that cat. But it went corrupt because of Toshi. And we were trying to release it. Alice, what you're doing the, you were doing the dishes. You're so lost. So we just kind of saw how Toshi strayed down the wrong path. <clears throat> um, there was famine and, and, you know, death and things like that. Natural, 
you know, courses of life. And Toshi was like, I'll have none of it. And he went to the um, mountain shrine god, who was the rot god, and was like, curse you for letting all these bad things happen to us. You suck. We don't need you. And then killed it. And that's what caused the final boss fight and all the corruption we saw across the across the world. Um, yeah. If like Mother Nature, Guardian God, and he screws with it, don't mess with Mother Nature. She gets pissed. Yeah. Hey, Kais. Yeah, he killed everyone doing that. I got that impression. I I had a I knew Zajiro was a spirit and that was kind of helping us along the way, but now I get it. If a god fails you, kill him. Insert commentary here. Yeah, it's apparently the logic that this character took, but I guess it goes to show that, like, that's flawed thinking and clearly was not the right thing to do. <clears throat> that one made you tear up a bit. It was so moving, right? It's they, they really know how to, like, get you in the feels this game. Goosebumps all over. <sighs> Game of the Year right here, it's a strong contender. Like, I don't think I have another stronger game for Game of the Year right now. <laughs> uh, this has not Metroid Dread, but still a great game award. Yeah. Way to go, Toshi! This is why we can't have nice things. Oracle, you were starving. Well, I hope you were able to satisfy your hunger. Sounds like it. Alright, so I guess we, uh, we just go forward. We have to meditate. We're at the mountain shrine. All right, here we go. One often meets their destiny on the path to avoid it. Look at all my rot babies, though. Here we go. Grab your popcorn. Who's the final spirit we have to help? Oh, the mountain. The rot god. That's the last goodbye, spirit. This means saying goodbye to our rot. Because I think these rot were part of the rot god. The cat-like creature. But we have to heal the... The Rot God. Got yeah, goosebumps again. Oh my god. I love that it's a cat. I'm just gonna point that out. Thank you, developers, for making the god a cat. I am getting goosebumps! Title drop. Wait, I like cats, I know. It's totally not obvious. <laughs> oh, that gave me so many goosebumps. Oh. This soundtrack is top notch. Like I think the soundtrack for this game is is up there with my favorite game soundtracks of all time. Already. It was so good. <clears throat> yeah, Bravo Ember Lab, right? Like this is their first game. Ember Lab is originally an animation studio. So, just saying. Yeah, 
that soundtrack. Oh my gosh. It's a restore the balance kind of thing. Yeah. They had all they all had people who cared about them guide you through the journey. Yeah. And they were all also spirits. So I think that was a really cool just a really cool experience. I did finish it. I did. <laughs> I know, shake off the goosebumps. This game made you so damn emotional, Hotshot. It got me teary a few times. The, uh, what really gets me is the the music. <clears throat> they did such a great job on the music. Like, it still gives me goosebumps. Like, just listening to this. Ah, what a great game. Yeah. I, I would say it's definitely game of the year material. Just in general. Theophany, look him up. He's an amazing musician. Yeah, I remember you you mentioned that. So <laughs> this is so cool. I'm curious about. It looks like they got like really diverse people to work on, on the game. That's really cool. Just judging by names. I don't know if I should judge by names, but it just sounds like it just seems like there's a lot of diversity within the the people that got to work on it. Very cool. <clears throat> you still get Last Dragon Disney vibes? The animation was so good. The animation's also top notch. That cat at the end, serious tattoo potential there. I know! Don't plant that idea in my head, Sleepy. <laughs> I'm already getting one at the end of this month. I should chill. I've got I would have gotten three tattoos this year. Remember when Carly came in here when I started the game? Her name is the first in the credits under animation team. Oh, really? I missed that. So cool. Very, very cool. Ah. The ending cutscene just choked you up. You're not even gonna lie. Oh, hot shot. It's, it's rare that a game can do that, I think. Like, they... Games are art, in my opinion. Games are art. Just hands down, um, and you know, art evokes emotion, right? And I think games uh, fulfill that definition of art. And I've, I mean, I've gotten emotional from so many games. This one definitely is up there. I definitely, right now, this is my game of the year. I don't know if there's going to be something else that'll replace it, but uh, yeah. Oh, goodness. <laughs> uh, the voice actress for Kena is Balinese. Bali in Southeast Asia. Oh, in Indonesia. Yeah, I've been to Bali. Very cool. I saw the uh, voice actor for Toshi is Japanese, so I thought that was cool. So there was, there was some uh, diversity in the... Uh, voice acting too. Vietnamese and Bali Indonesian names. Yeah. Isn't that cool though? Where is Ember Lab um, based? The fact that they thank people for the sharing of traditional music makes this even better. Oh, did they? I missed that in the credits. This is like 10 out of 10 right now. I'm very um, very pleased. <laughs> uh, props to the team for crediting culture. Yeah. So good. It's okay, Twining. You got six tattoos in 2018. Three in a year is fine, is it? <laughs> it's so tempting all the time, right? Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to squeeze in another one before the end of the year, other than the one I have later this month, but... Yeah. <laughs> this is how you do cultural celebration without appropriation. Mm -hmm. By having those cultures create it and have actual input. Yes. I love it. I gotta catch up, it's a race. No, it's not a race. I, for me, I like to have some thought before I dive into a tattoo. Since it's gonna be permanent. Have I tried Guardians of the Galaxy yet? No. I don't know if I plan to. I've never really gravitated towards the Marvel games, even though I'm a Marvel fan. They did really well with this game, Twining. You're glad they put in the effort to do the proper research and involve people from the represented cultures. 
Isn't that awesome? Doesn't this elevate the game and the developer in your eyes? Like, I cannot wait to see what else they come up with. The fact that this is their first game and they were so thoughtful with everything. Like, it's hard to, to find an experience like this in gaming with what Ember Lab has done with this game. More people should have played this game? I agree. I think some people were probably turned off by the difficulty of the combat. They're in Orange, California. Okay, gotcha. So they're in California. The game's art was created in collaboration with Vietnamese animation studio Sparks, and its fictional world is inspired by Eastern locations such as Japan and Bali. The original score was composed by Jason Galati, who collaborated with Balinese Ensemble Group. Oh, I don't want to butcher the name. Uh, to create music respectful to the culture. That's so cool. Hasha, thanks for showing this, us this ridiculously amazing game. You've loved every second of it. Oh, I'm so happy to hear. This has been, like I said, such an experience. And I've, I've enjoyed it every minute of it too. Even the times I got stuck on some bosses. And in the end, I wasn't really that stuck. Like, I've, I've suffered more at other bosses in other games. <laughs> You know, I had some bouts of slight frustration, but nothing, nothing insurmountable and nothing that tarnished my uh, opinion of the game remotely. So, um, Sleepy, you're not going to get a Kana based tattoo, but the plant cat things and forming a potential Keating tattoo that may or may not be in your future. Oh yeah. I love the ideas. Kaius, you played on the easiest setting. You loved it. It wasn't too hard at all. Yeah, I played on normal. And it was an experience. <laughs> Pigslitter, you want a sequel to this with a story that explores more about Kana herself? She's kind of a blank slate here. Pigslitter, that's a good point. Yeah, I would love... I mean, even not even necessarily a sequel, but like a prequel. That kind of tells us before we get to the, the events of this game who Kana is, where she comes from. Uh, more of her background and her history and her involvement. Um, we know that she got the staff and went into to being a spirit guide because of her, f her parents, I think, or her father, I think. I think that's all we really know. Other than that, we don't really know much else about her. So it would be definitely really cool to see more of that character development. Um, I'd be all over a prequel or sequel. So I'm, I'm definitely keeping an eye on this developer. I just want to see what they what else they come up with. Because I hope they come up with more. Hopefully this is not just like a one-off experiment project they had going on. Because I, you know, I hope that they, they do um, come out with something else. Because I will be following along. And like I said, I'm very, this has been very pleasantly surprising. What does appropriation mean? You would Google, but you don't always understand the descriptions. Oh, Sleepy's got gotcha. you. Cultural appropriation is when a dominant cultural group exploits elements of a different culture without having the other cultural group being involved or rewarded in any way. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. They are the same guys who did the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask short fan film, Terrible Fate. Yeah, I think someone mentioned they did that um, before. I didn't actually watch it. Morte could write paragraphs on it. Yeah, Sleepy, Sleepy got, got us all there. <laughs> yeah, cultural appropriation is bad. You, any kind of appropriation like that is bad. You don't want to be doing that because it's very disrespectful. Um, and... It's just really rude. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Uh, a really explicit example, for example, is during Halloween. When you see uh, Halloween costumes that are very clearly from a culture. That is a very blatant form of cultural appropriation. For example, um, here in the U.S. anyway, um, speaking from U.S. experience, Halloween, um, in the past I've seen costumes where uh, you dress up as um, a Native American chief, for example, right? With the full headdress and everything, and you see, you know, 
for example, white people dressing up as that, it's that's appropriation. Ah, uh, it's disrespectful. Any kind of like cultural based Halloween costume, you, you should avoid in general. So like, including like ones where like, um, you see when people dress up who are clearly not of Japanese descent, but they dress up as, as Japanese geisha or sexy geishas, right? Like that. Mm, no, no, <laughs> don't do that. But yeah, so. Um, you do have a BA in English and intercultural studies and it kind of helps. Oh, okay. Very cool. Loxabi, can you link it? What, what are you linking? Like to the definition of cultural appropriation? Yeah, you can. Oracle, you think if they do a prequel, you might end up playing the dad at least to start? Possibly. I think we, if we got more insight into the whole spirit guide um, aspect of things, because I don't think we really got much background on that in general. So, yeah, like wearing a headdress without understanding the significance. Yeah. Yeah. Morte, one of your favorite ones you saw was a celebrity pair. One being, quote unquote, an Indian chief, quote unquote, and the other being a sexy pilgrim. Oh my god. You shouldn't wear a headdress even if you understand the significance. It is a gift that is earned. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a respect thing, you know. So... Uh, hi, Alex. You're telling me to relax? I am relaxed. <laughs> if you're turned off by the conversation at hand, please kindly leave and find another stream. Hey, Rising Samurai. All good. All good. I hope you read my mod's comment about it. Um, you know, you've been here before. Just say hi before you just drop random jokes like that. <laughs> you know... The Terrible Fate YouTube video. Oh, yeah, 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 you can share it. Um, the animation short film that Ember Lab worked on. Yeah, go for it. I mean, I'm not going to click on it because I don't usually watch links and stuff on stream. But um, if anyone's interested, uh, yeah, you can post it in Discord as well. But you can also share here if anyone wants to check it out. I haven't actually seen it myself, too. Well, we finished Kana. Let me check the trophy list. I was planning to platinum the game. Oh shit, that's wrong. Ah, uh, I didn't mean to go to my profile. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I, I was gonna originally platinum this game, but I don't think I'm gonna do it on stream because I just don't know if I'm gonna have enough time with everything going on, unfortunately. We have five more trophies, including redoing the whole game on Master. Destroy three enemies with a single dash. Destroy a mage with its own bomb. Defeat an enemy by shooting a bomb out of the air. Hit three enemies in a, with a single rotten fused arrow. I mean, I don't feel like these are that difficult, but Master difficulty gameplay is going to take the most time. Obviously, I don't have to collect all the collectibles, but I feel like it's harder if you don't because you need the rot. <sighs> Hi, Rory Skies. You were watching me play this game. It looks really fun. It is really fun. I'm, I'm, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the stream. Uh, the, we actually just finished it, if you're wondering. We rolled the credits and everything. Um, highly recommend playing this game. If you ever get a chance. It's on PC through the Epic Games Store and it's on PlayStation 4 and 5. And uh, it is like 10 out of 10 experience. The animation's great. The combat's a little challenging, but no shame in playing it on easy if you're not up for that. Um, it's, it's just a very solid experience. Like combat, story, graphics, music, characters, mechanics. All of it, the whole package. Like, this is my current personal game of the year. I do hope it wins some awards because I do want, I feel like this this 
studio deserves a lot of recognition <laughs> for this game. Um, so, yeah. Ha, ah, thanks, Loxevi. I appreciate it. I have three weeks to do it on my own. I could. Do I wanna? <laughs> Am I just gonna be a 